And that's what our guest is talking about today. Christopher Lowe is a Washington University student who just launched a social project called the Karma Seed. And he's here to tell us all about it. Hi, Christopher. Hi. So something good happened to you, and you decided to start this. Tell us about that. So a little over a year ago, um, I was shooting a promotional video for a student group called Team 31. And I accidentally left my camera outside mm -hmm. on the grass in front of the library. And I thought, my camera's lost. Um, but my friend recommended I check the Lost and Found website. I checked repeatedly, and three days later, sure enough, it popped up. Um, but what was on that camera wasn't just the footage that I took. There was an extra video. And it was of the girl who had found my camera. Oh, that's so cool. And she left me a little, a little message. And it was at that moment that I thought, this is like, this is what it means to be human. It's, it's about doing things, doing good things, doing anything positive when you're capable of doing something positive. Um, and I want to provide people with a platform that they could have similar experiences. And that's how the conversation Yeah, well, no, like, you know, if, if you could bottle that feeling of finding something that you lost, yeah. it feels so good. It's great. <laughs> yeah, it just feels so good. And I, and I can understand uh, being inspired by that. So now when you talk about karma, you're talking about paying it forward, but with a twist, really. Yeah. So basically, the karma seed is paid forward, but in the 21st century, it's not about uh, what we do at the karma seed is we basically um, a, provide a platform from which users who it's have, who are rich or poor, young or old, um, are capable of having significant and meaningful impacts on the lives of others for less than the price of a small, uh, small soda at a movie theater. Mm -hmm. And basically, what you do is you purchase these seeds online on our website and you register the seed, you keep the seed in your wallet or purse, and you wait for an opportunity to help somebody. You give them the card and you say, look, I don't want anything in return. Just simply, this is what the card looks like. Okay. Um, it's a little plastic card with um, okay. a 16 digit number. So you say, hey, I don't want anything in return. I don't want anything in return. Just simply go on the website, red, uh, check, in the, check in the card, share your story, and do a favor for somebody else. An idea that is that it goes on from person to person, um, and the card gets passed along, and you get to read all the stories about all the nice things people have done. So it's really random acts of kindness. Exactly. Consciously doing them. Exactly. Because I think people that are inclined to do random acts of kindness often do without thinking mm -hmm. about them. Mm -hmm. But this, you actually put some thought into it. Yeah. So that's yeah. a great idea, and then you're going to start a foundation. Yeah, so the Carmacy Foundation will be up and running by the end of February. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, 50% of all the profit from selling karma seeds um, goes towards any social initiatives that I want to start funding. Um, I actually ran into a, a local musician here in St. Louis named Rachel Brandt uh, who wants to start a foundation that puts instruments in, in the hands of um, underprivileged children. Um, and having played an instrument when I was younger, I can speak on the discipline that <laughs> playing an instrument teaches you yeah. um, and how that can have such a meaningful impact on a child's life and change their life forever. What are you studying at WashU? I am a <laughs> operations and supply chain management and entrepreneurship major. Bingo. I think the and entrepreneurship, minoring, I was going to say. <laughs> and minoring in uh, communication design. There you go. And, and you're a nice guy. How'd you get so Thank nice? You. Uh, great parents. <laughs> there you go. And do you have people that are cynical that say to you, oh, yeah, right, the karma seat? <laughs> oh, of course, of course. Um, some of them believe that these these are things that people wouldn't really follow through with. People won't really pass the seed. But, I mean, so far it's been going pretty well, and I hope it continues to do well. Well, it's nice to interview someone about a positive story. Thank you. All right, well, thank you. To learn more about the karma seed, you can just go to our website at kplr11.com.